so in case you lived under a rock, these are called Wademki. They work extremely great. Look at me, plowing through the snow. Isn't this amazing? Yeah, these are Vanemki. Most of Soviet Russia wears these. Had them smuggled into the States. Hey YouTube, here with another video. Today's video is on burr. So burr doesn't only mean when it's cold outside. Burr is a method on how to acquire real estate. So come on with me to the sauna where I break it down for you. Burr. What is burr? Buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. A simple acronym on real estate investing. This method is amazing because it allows you to keep purchasing property with zero money down after your initial investment. So when I say zero money down, I mean in the beginning you do need capital, but we want to use that capital in a way that allows us to continue to purchase without having to find new capital in order to invest. Once you are ready to buy and you have capital, means you have money. So that means you either have money in your bank account, you either have an investor that has the money that you're gonna partner up on this deal, or you're gonna use the strategy to pull out equity out of your personal house, which I covered in my first video on how to put your house to work. So in this example, we're gonna assume that we're starting out with $80,000 of capital. We're gonna look for a property that needs some work and it's in a generally good area. So this brings us to step number two. And we're, we're gonna say that we need $10,000 in order to fix it up. That means update the kitchen, new paint, new carpet, vinyl plank throughout in order for us to bring that value up. Now I encourage everybody, if, if you're not handy, you know, find contractors that you can work with. Find a handyman. But also, try to challenge yourself. So YouTube is a great place. And you can learn how to put in vinyl plank, how to paint, how to replace kitchen sinks. There's lots of videos out there. And once we're done with our rehab, we're gonna find a tenant. And once we get a tenant in there, let's say for this example, we're gonna rent it out for $1,000 a month. After you get a tenant and you have the place fixed up, now you're gonna look for a bank. So we're gonna find a bank that will allow us to do an 80% cash out. Get this place appraised by a bank, and in this example, it's gonna appraise at $100,000. Now the bank will allow us to do a cash out of 80%, which means that they will write us a check for 80 grand. This is the birth strategy in a nutshell. So with this $80,000, we go to the last step number five, which is repeat. So we return back to the buy step. We're gonna look again for a property that's undervalued, that needs work, that we can fix up, boost its value, pull its equity out, and be left with the same money that we put into it. Keep in mind, this strategy doesn't work 100%, meaning sometimes you want a property to appraise at $100,000, but it might appraise at $95,000. So if that happens, well, 80% of $90,000 is no longer 80 grand. So you might be left pulling out equity less than what you put into the place. So this is what I mean. It's, it's not always no money down unless you got a bargain deal. In the market that we are today, and this is 2022, it's very hard to find a deal. If you found this information useful, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm gonna be releasing more videos specifically on each one of these steps. If you guys have questions, make sure you put the, your questions in the comments below. Thank you and take care. I wanted to reach out and thank all the new subscribers for um, commenting on my videos and give me thumbs up and a bunch of likes and views and stuff. So I'm actually uh, listening to your feedback, and uh, as you can tell, I got this nifty little microphone. Phone test, test, test. Burr.